this this is a classic one so we've watched some bright side videos before and they always do this like what if concept like what if this crazy thing happened and i got recommended today they posted it recently what if sharks grew lungs and came out of the sea and i just had to know i just had to know what happens if shark grew lungs and came out of the sea yeah so let's 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 give my assessment so if sharks grew lungs randomly not how evolution works but let's just say sharks grew lungs um, they would be able to breathe above the water, but they wouldn't be able to walk. <laughs> um, and they wouldn't be able to eat anything, really. So, they would just stay in the water. Tons of fish washed ashore. They've been here for several hours, but are still alive. They kick and beat their slippery bodies against the sand. You see carp, trout, sardines, and even a... Yeah, yeah carp trout from the ocean and sardines nice that's good that makes sense yeah just get some some sea carp and some sea trout you huge great white sharks they are okay carp trout sardines and great white sharks on the fur on the same beach is insane full of energy you can see them swim away into the sea depths but some of them come up and swim close to the surface enjoying fresh air <laughs> helped on so a random storm happened the fish grew lungs and now they enjoy fresh air almost all the fish except for the sharks a rescue crane arrives it lifts each of the sharks by its tail one by one then carries the fish toward the sea <laughs> and lets it go scientists and marine researchers have already gone on a sea expedition to study do they think that like lightning just strikes an animal and it suddenly grows an anatomical feature from an entirely different animal like is that the concept i don't fucking understand at all later in the evening they announced the results of their study now what an entire now that is the most unrealistic thing that's happened in this entire video a scientific study getting done in a singular day everything else has been fish growing lungs is far more realistic than an efficient scientific Every study sea creature that has gills can also breathe through newly developed lungs they can just every fish simultaneously developed lungs i don't fucking they understand for as long as they want their bodies receive doses of oxygen needed for life after this carbon dioxide is formed it enters the fish's blood. this is just a real explanation of what gills do and is released back into the water dolphins and whales have always had lungs air passes through their nostrils which are located on the top of their heads how does that fit as someone who's dissected fish before trying to figure out where they would fit an entire pair of lungs in their coelum there's not a lot of room in there opening long dlc is called the blowhole dolphins come up to the surface i think the music gets so upbeat suddenly under the water for a few minutes again now not only dolphins but also all the other sea creatures swim close to the surface you take a boat to go is on this one fish supposed to be all a paku the other sea creatures is like did they is this a paku is that what this is close to the surf right or a piranha or something that's like what it has the anatomy of they jump out high and dive back in <laughs> like dolphins several dozen fish jump into your boat you throw them back into the sea your boat's gonna you sink a bro huge fin and turn off the engine a shark is swimming a few hundred feet away from you it's about the a few size hundred of your feet boat Fortunately, it's distracted by other fish and it's not going to hunt you. You turn around and go back to the shore. <laughs> Dust your fun. boat full of hopping air breathing light. fish. The closer you get to the shore, the louder the screams and sounds of something getting crushed. What? Finally, you arrive at the pier, get out of the boat and find that a part of the embankment has been ruined. Boats are overturned, street lights are broken, it's electric Crabzilla. wires are torn. Cars are abandoned, what? windows and houses are broken, there's garbage everywhere, and the road is also covered. This is just like an alternative version of Sharknado. Ooze. You hear some Spoon kind of, of popping sound coming from a dark alley. It's approaching you. A small octopus appears on the road. It's moving in a spider-like manner. With the help of its tentacles, the creature climbs a car, jumps onto the wall, and crawls up. What? After this okay yeah just because the octopus grew lungs even though octopus could already live out of the water for a while it now has the ability to move on land perfectly fine hold itself up with completely fucking noodles and jump this octopus another one comes out 
Several squid follow it. Some of them are Okay. Why do the squid and the octopus look the exact same except they're different colors? Crawling towards you. I don't think this person knows what octopus means. Octo. Eight legs. Not a squid. You're traveling through deserted streets with an army of octopuses crawling behind you. What? The ground starts shaking under the wheels of your bike. You hear a deafening roar of an unknown beast. A roar. You look back and immediately regret doing it. A huge monster <laughs> the size of a five-story building. Okay, so a five-story building octopus, which has now grown lungs. Ever since the animal got a pair of lungs, it's been looking forward to taking a breath of fresh, clean air. Instincts brought it to the surface, where it smelled a lot of food. Okay. The city it's just lights eating a hot dog cart. The Kraken's attention. With its huge ah, ten so it's a Kraken. But it says, what if sharks grew lungs and came out of the sea? Why are we talking about the Kraken? Where are the sharks? Pickles. You push the pedals of your bike as hard as you can. <laughs> Literally, yeah, it's a shitty... Inside. It's become a shitty fan fiction. Like, the, the you saying it in, like, the second person, like, what you did and what you did throughout this it literally sounds like i'm reading like a shitty online fan fiction about like what would happen but then you hear a strange sound behind your back the kraken like an octopus doesn't have an internal skeleton its body consists of muscles that's why it can squeeze how is it moving hole, like a liquid the kraken is chasing you in the tunnel like a snake with dozens of tails how, how is it moving it's on its side doing that and it's moving at bike speed through a tunnel. The speed is slowing down. Years have passed, and they've learned to survive on land. They kick, wave their tails, push with their fins, and move clumsily along roads. <laughs> That's not how shark fins work. The residents of Co <laughs> He's running on his pectoral fins. <laughs> Sharks are actually known to have the most stiff pectoral fins of almost any fish because they use them like wings to glide through the water. And home dog just said, woom, 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 woom. Thanks to this, the blood in their bodies circulates better and faster. This makes their muscles stronger and their brains smarter. <laughs> Okay, it made this octopus so, just by getting a little bit more oxygen, this octopus has become so strong that he can punch through a brick wall. Faster. This makes their muscles stronger and their brains smarter. It becomes difficult to catch fish. They easily break. <laughs> you catch a fish in a net and it's like, I hold on, and just pulls out its saw and starts to saw away at the net. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. I, that checks out. Evolution changes the structure of their bodies incredibly quickly. Okay. Some fish have grown elongated limbs. Their skin becomes slightly <laughs> rougher. Their fins and tails remain, but their paws... Now they could just walk on those... Longer. Okay, yep, cool. Imagine a shark with crocodile limbs. Yep. This is exactly what most fish look like. That's what, that's what evolution does to you. You know? If you've ever doubted evolution... Checkmate atheist. Look at this shit. Checkmate creationist. <laughs> this is evolution at work. Millions of years of evolution will pass, and fish what? will resemble people. But they will be covered with scales, with small fins behind the ears, and a huge fin on the back. By this time, humanity will colonize many other planets, and fish will become the owners of Earth. <laughs> so, if... According to this guy, theoretically, all fish suddenly grew lungs overnight, including fish which belong in freshwater living in the ocean. They would slowly take over Earth. <laughs> like hell, I'm giving up Earth to a fish. Whoa.